Hey, and thanks for joining us for What's On in Southern Ostrobotnia. I'm Mark Wiltshire. Hey, and I'm Glenn. And in each episode, we'll be highlighting some interesting events and activities taking place across the region of Etelapochyma in the current coming month. There'll be a lot of information. Don't worry, we've made notes and we'll include all the links in the episode details for this show. Also, on a separate blog post on nordicexplorerproductions.com. We're also going to have a guest join us later to talk about their event, but we'll come on to that shortly. So, Glenn, why don't you tell us about the first event that you found? Well, actually, the, the first thing that I've uh, found is a, it's, a, it's a class. It's a digital tips in the main library in St. Uh It happens on the 25th of, sorry, the 20th of the 5th, 2021, between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. They uh, give you digital tips on how to produce stuff and do stuff. There hasn't been an update to the ERP calendar on what is happening with the next event as so we're not too sure what it's going to be but there's they said that there will be an event on on the 20th of the 5th 2021 there for, for example what was the last show that, that well, took the place? last one the, the last couple of shows that they had were um, they had uh, they had uh, what was it they had um, online meetings like they teach you how to use online meetings like google meet and stuff like that quite important now yeah it is really really important and uh a lot of the other ones which fits kind of well in with this corona lockdown that's been going on is uh they've been teaching you digital apps for hiking and stuff like strava i'm, I'm assuming and, and stuff like that and commute things to do with uh you know getting out there and hiking and just being more active uh, yeah, so the price I believe is free. Yeah, so you can go go there and participate in those anytime you want. And yeah, so that's about it. So we'll put a link to the Airpeg Galantari uh, page so you can find a little bit more information yeah. about that. Yeah. So my first event this, this time is the start of the Finnish football season, something that's quite close to my heart. Living in South Ostrobotnia, we've got two uh, top level teams. One in the Finnish Premier League, the Veikkaus Liga, is SJK Seinejoki, and then in Ulkunen, which is the second level, is VPS Vasa. The season started right at the beginning of May, on the 3rd of May, which is when SJK had their first home game of the season. Unfortunately, because of the, the virus, the, the season's been delayed by a month, and still it's a little bit restricted to fans, but SJK has home games every week or two from the beginning of May until the middle of October at the yeah. at the latest. So there's a there's a good few months ahead of us still. Yeah. For those that haven't been to a, a game at SJK, um, there's a, a standing area behind the goal, which is for the Cloppit, which is for the the supporters club, where you get all the singing and the clapping and and all the noise. Don't be intimidated by that. Mm. If you if you want to get involved, come along to that area. It's really welcoming to everyone really, male, female, young, old, Finns, yeah. foreigners. We had a lot of we had a lot of students from all over all over Northern Europe come last year and they really got into it. So that, that was that was really good as well because yeah. they were they, they were like Spanish students there. Yeah. They really got into the football, and you know you can have a you can have a drink there in certain areas of the ground, and they got into it and uh, uh, and really made some noise and added yeah. to the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, but if you want something a little bit more relaxed, then in the main stand there are more comfortable seats, and that tends to attract the sun as well. So you yeah. you know get in there early, have a drink in the Carlsberg bar before heading out to your yep. to your seat. You can find more about Finnish football in the English language from SJK Seinejoki's own podcast called Notta Yoki. Um, and also I make the Finnish Football Show podcast and we have a couple of episodes every month again in English and you'll find both of those as, as podcasts and, and on YouTube. Um, prices for the matches, different, different areas of the, of the ground have different prices but it starts from 15 euros for a a ticket bought in advance for the the end behind yeah. the goal where I go uh, and it goes up to 
um, 30 euros for a ticket in the main stand mm. with the comfy seat and your direct access to the nice warm bar. Just make sure that when, if you want, if you want to be in the sun, just make sure you're on the grandstand where the Carlsberg bar is. And if you want to not be in the sun, you want to be on the opposite side to the Carlsberg bar. Yeah. Just, just a pro tip there. So we'll put all the all the links in the in the notes in the blog post as, as usual. But you can visit the SJK website, which is sjk.fi, and you buy tickets for the uh, for the games at lipbu.fi. And there's a few links to uh, to other places that you can uh, you can find a bit more information about watching football in Sainioki. Yeah. So um, up next is one of my things that I've found. We've found uh, it's a class again, but this one's a little different. It, it's Ratkaistu Retkeilun Kursi is the name of this class. What does that mean, Glenn? I don't actually know. <laughs> Retkeilu is is like Retki is like hiking and anything to do with outdoor. I I believe so. so it's a hiking course. Yeah, basically, basically, yeah, it is. It's a hiking course. It's a uh, Valkia Lam Lamentia two hundred Aliarvi Finland, which is actually in Lehtomäki village. Yeah. Um, the dates are between Saturday the twenty fifth at ten a.m. and it finishes. It finishes the next day on Sunday the 23rd of the 5th at 4 p.m. Now it is a hiking course that you don't need any hiking previous hiking experience needed. Uh, it's free of charge. You're learning. You've done well finding free of charge events. This yeah, week. I know, I know. I well, it's it's pretty good to find them free ones because well, with this uh, Corona around, I don't think too many people are making that much money. Yeah, true. But, true. Yeah, so it's free of charge and you learn the basics of hiking and in, you know, safety in the environment and stuff. Yeah, so it's possible to stay at Valke Lami in your own accommodation the night between the days. That's why it finishes on the Sunday. So you basically, Retkeilu like, is camping and hiking. So the hiking course has a bit of camping involved with it, which would be nice, but hopefully the weather changes for the, for the better. It gets a bit warmer <laughs> before those days happen. There are, there are, it's talk that by the early to middle of May, we might start to get some, you know, double digit yeah, temperatures and a bit of I sun. Yeah, I was That'd told nice. the other day by a friend of mine that it would be up in the 20s and it would be lovely because I, I still have my, my friend's <laughs> motorbike, so I might be able to get out there on the roads and Sounds have good. a look around. It's led by Sole and Ma Marco Aito. Aito? Aito. 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 Sorry, uh, my, my Finnish pronunciation is quite terrible still. <laughs> uh, you've got to register by the 7th of the, the 5th by email, which I think is today. So, yeah, at Make. Pista Aitio at uh, gmail.com. We'll put those links in yeah. the Yeah, we'll the put those links in the description so that you can uh, find all that out. Yeah. Even if it's even if it's after that date, it's worth sending an email because they may yeah, not have places. Yeah, so. yeah, like the, even though even though like you need to register beforehand, it's what on the twenty fifth? Mm. Uh, yeah. So there's quite a few days between then and if they don't get enough people, I'm sure that'd be that'd be very accommodating to letting you in. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm not certain about their language ability, but I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone can give it a go, and I'm sure you can all manage there. So those who register on time with the email and additional data will be sent uh, to them, including what what you need for the course. So uh, they'll tell you what they what you we cry like a backpack, water, whatever. So yeah, that's all. Yeah. So you'll, get, you'll get all that information by emailing it, but you'll get the email a link in the description of this video and the blog post. Thanks, Glenn. So now let's hear from this week's guest. Eleanor Tati is the art educator and acting exhibition coordinator at the Kunsthalle Seinioki, and she's going to tell us about an interesting event that's coming up at the Art and Culture Centre, Kaliben Navetta. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Eleanor. Thanks for joining Glenn and I again. So what event do you have coming up at Kalevin Navetta? We have art yoga coming up and actually other events on the Saturday of 29th of May. So the la last Saturday of May, it's the last day 
of our current exhibitions. After that, we will close the Kunsthalle down for a couple of weeks and change exhibitions in both exhibition spaces. So it's a small event to um, give the artists opportunities to meet audience and also something else. Okay, now the big question is, what on earth is art yoga? Art yoga is normal yoga instructed by a professional yoga teacher. Anneli Kupari is our, our teacher there. But uh, the yoga practice is held at the exhibition space in the middle of the art exhibition. So it's normal yoga, but a very unusual setting. Explain a little bit about this exhibition space. Well, we actually got this idea already a year ago because our exhibition space Vint is quite special. It's some people say that it, it's a church like space or a temple or something like that. And we thought that, well, this could work for a lot of different kinds of events. And a year ago, we also had an exhibition where we thought that we would like to try this yoga thing out. And we did, and then COVID happened and we had to close down and, and we didn't have the chance to organize yoga classes there anymore. But now with this exhibition, we thought that it's really fitting. So we decided to give it a go again. Can you explain a little bit about the exhibition that's still running there at the moment? Uh, we have two artists working together, Jana Maijala and Ville Linna. And they are combining drawings and photographs and a soundscape or a sound installation. The sound is coming from live plants. And, and it's about communication and, and also the light in the space is quite, quite special with the sound, with the drawings and, and the light coming from the window. Yeah, it's a very atmospheric sound constantly in the in the background yeah it'll be quite it'll be quite something to experience yes so what is the price for the art yoga it's 12 euros and you have to sign up beforehand and i've got the the website here so it's netticket.fi slash taide yoga viva vintila viva seniyoki yes exactly Perfect. um elena thank you so much for coming back on to the show to tell us about your event and we'll see you again someday soon. Thank you, it was my pleasure. Thanks Elena, we hope to uh, soon be publishing a video podcast and blog about Color Vanafeta so you'll keep your eyes open out for that. Uh, right Mark, what's next on your event list? <laughs> I'm going back to a museum, oh, I took you to a museum. <laughs> Museum boy. <laughs> see, there's a pattern developing. There is a pattern. This is the Koskenkorven Museum. It's located at Koskenkorven Prateri in Koskenkorva. You can see the, the, the repetition there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, the, the museum opens for summer uh, season on the 1st of June. Uh, and from then on it will be open from Tuesdays to Saturdays from 10 in the morning until five in the afternoon and I thought I'd explain this name Trateri because it's a uh, it's quite tricky to say. Um, the word Traterata means to treat and entertain guests well and therefore Traateri is a place to be treated and entertained especially well and Koskenkorva Kos Traateri is a place with a, a variety of different types of sauna. I think they've got six different types of sauna there now. They've got a museum. Actually, they've got two museums. We'll come to that. And they, it's also like an event and function yeah. venue where you can hold parties and, and gatherings. Hopefully with a lot of cost get caught up. <laughs> Well, okay, we'll come to that too. <laughs> so the museum hosts a permanent exhibition on the history of Koskenkorva Vodka. And until recently, it's shared this space with an exhibition about Kunni clocks and if you don't recognize the name you'd certainly recognize the clock there they're like floor standing like grandfather clocks yeah. but they're very decorative yeah. and this quite sort of soft um, shapes to the to the design um, and they were made in the local area so there's an exhibition there yeah. well that clock exhibition's moving to a different building 
which means there's even more space for vodka exhibits. <laughs> um, so, and I mentioned the saunas in the changing rooms for this sauna area. Mm. They've got a vodka tap. Now, what? Yeah, it's literally a tap on the wall that is reported to be connected to the Koskenkova Distillery, which is right next door. Now, I, I went there to record a podcast a few years ago, and <laughs> oh I, was, I was told oh. by Marti and Jaco <laughs> that the vodka that comes out of that tap is six minutes old. Wow. I'm not, I'm not doubting them, but, you know, that's what they, that's what they told me. So does, that mean, does that mean it's less alcoholic? Because as alcohol gets older, it gets more alcoholic? I don't what does know. that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Just that it's fresh. Yeah, it tastes fresh. Yeah. Um, they, they've also got some, uh, later in the summer, uh, sort of open evenings for the saunas where you can go and sort of buy a ticket and try all the different types of saunas. But I think we'll, we'll get back to that in, in next month's yeah. show. Um, the neat thing about the museum, it's five euros for adults, it's three euros for 12 to 17 year olds, pensioners and students, and it's free for the under 12s or if you have a Museo Gordi or museum card. Um, we'll put the links in the, in the notes obviously, but prateri.fi is the place to, uh, to find information. And the Explore Finland episode, when I went on a tour of the museum, you'll find the links there as well. All right, so uh, next up on the list is a live music event. This is a little weird. We have, you know, the mobile libraries that get around towns. Like, well, it's like these, these bands. Yeah, full of books. well, it's yeah. like it's a bus. It's yeah. a bus retrofitted yeah. as a library. So yeah. basically, Ahtari will be having live performance gigs out of this, out of their library bus. Okay by the sensitive guys playing music. Now that is a trans English translation of it, so I'm not sure what the finish was, but it, it, it's very, it's, that's a direct translation. I've put, put the actual name in the, in yeah. the blog post, so, yeah. you can, so you, you'll find it there too. So yeah, but that's their name. On Tuesday the 18th to the 5th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at Mulamaki, uh, Koskin, Kiosk uh, Kahvila, uh, Mulu Yard, Asaman, Asaman Dear 10. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, and from 7 till 9 p.m. at Tahkila. Pihla Ya. You might want to help me with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pihla Ya Feven Den Dear. Eight six three. That's, that, that's I, I, I think. I think you you sh should leave the uh, yeah. the addresses out. In I, They're quite tricky. Yeah. Ones, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll put the address <laughs> where you need to find this uh, information in the in the description again. Yeah. And the next one will be on will be Tuesday, the first of the sixth. Yeah. So that's what June. Yeah. We're in Kesako already. From seventeen. So from five. 5 p.m. till 6.30 p.m. at Ramallah Village House. Yeah. And then at between 7 and 9 at Vehu Village House. So these are kind of put on by the library service. Yeah, is, there yes. a, is there a charge for this? No, no. See, again, it's free. Good. You've done <laughs> I, well this week. I've done well, yes. <laughs> so, you know, get out there. There's there's stuff out there. There's free stuff out there to do wherever you may be in Etelapoihema. We, we have something that will suit all of you. Hmm. Um, and don't forget to check out the Epe Kalantari and have a look on there to find more information on other events and stuff that might be on. Yeah. Uh, this, however, this live music event will be weather permitting and... But we've just discussed it's going to be beautiful weather for the rest of May and We onwards. hope, but we are in <laughs> Finland and it will change. Uh, it yeah. will be snowing one more time before summer at least. Uh, that's, that's probably true. It that's is the truth, true. yes. Yeah. All details concerning the, the, the information and stuff will be in the description again yeah. as b below. So if we murdered any of the names, go and check them out there. Oh, we certainly did. Yeah, that. we did, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my final event... Um, also a free one, so you know I'm not, I'm not all. It's not all about paying yeah. things. This is an outdoor activity. It's in the the town of Telva, and it's a mailbox cycling challenge. Oh, what the, what is? Yeah, well, that's that's a good question. What the? What do is, you do? You, <laughs> baseball bat and no, everyone's mailbox as well. You ride? No, by, I, it's it's less destructive than that. So <laughs> it's um, it, they, they, there's twelve mailboxes in the in the Telva 
area and the challenge is 12 in all well i guess where, where you can drop off posts okay so not not individual houses but but where you can drop it. off posts yeah wow <laughs> and, and your challenge is to ride on your bike to visit every post box in delver and there are 12 as i say listed on the on the website and apparently at each one there's a booklet where you can record your name and they're saying they'll only take one your name one time per day yeah um and there's a bit of a bit of a competition Anyway, in saying that, I come from Ilomayoki myself, and uh, they have something very similar oh, okay. in the Munaka to Halkasari area. So these seem to be a, a quite a common occurrence. Yeah, it's nice, nice sort of local tradition maybe. And this this sort of challenge runs from the end of May till the end of September. So you got whole summer and into autumn to uh, yeah. to take part. And it's not just for cyclists either. They're also encouraging people to make the journey by roller skating, Nordic walking, jogging, anything as long as you're not yeah. powering, as long as you're powering yourself. Basically. Yeah, so keep a look out because you might have one in your nearest village because I know we have one in our Monaka village that's closest to Holkosari and we have a competition between all of us and even one of the, the areas closer like Aonis of Seinayoki. So yeah, keep a, keep a look out because that might be happening near you somewhere. One, one thing they do, so I'll put a link it's a bit of a long, complicated link for a PDF online, so I'll just put yeah. a link there. Follow the link, um, and it will explain all the addresses of the places to visit. Yeah. They also suggest that you take your own pen for writing your name. Yeah, in this book, because so. when I've when I've gone to the one, at least in uh, Monaka, in my home village, there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Like get a bit of dirt, yeah, charcoal exactly, yeah, or yeah. something off the bit of dirt off the ground and put them. And we're in Corona time, so take your yeah, own take pen your own pen. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. yeah. All right, well that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining us. Press that subscribe button wherever you found us. As I said earlier, you'll find links to all the events we've mentioned in the episode description. Um, the easiest place to find us is nordicexplorerproductions.com where we have all the previous episodes and links to our social media profiles. That said, you can find me, Mark Wiltshire, or Explore Finland on Facebook or Instagram. And Glenn, as the Nordic tourist on YouTube and Instagram, we'd love to hear your thoughts about this show. Yeah, we'd also love to hear about any events that are coming up in Southern Ostrobotnia. So reach out to us via the website and let us know what you've got going on. But until the next episode, to all you Etelapokialize it, moro. Hey, bye. Bye.